So no one has come back from it to give us any reports. So what makes us think that it's a horrible thing? It's this dark, nasty, cold, alone place. What makes you think that way? And, and to my belief, it's because of our conditioning. It's our culture. It's the society, the way they deal with it. Now, imagine that you grew up in a culture that was really embracing death as a transition, as a transformation to a better life. And when someone was passing, whether it was voluntarily or they were just passing, it happened, it's an accident or whatever, is, whatever happened. And we were celebrating this. There was a big celebration. Everybody would come together. There was food, there were drinks, there was music. We were all wearing white or colors and celebrating it. And it wasn't anything bad. And the idea was, okay, you're going to the other side, you're going to be getting together with your parents, you're going to be getting together with your cousins, with your uncles, aunts, friends, everyone who tra left before you. And we're celebrating that. That is a reunion with our family and friends. So it was something like in a way you were looking forward to as you're coming closer to the end of the line or this life. So it would have been a complete different story. As far as uh, grieving goes, I feel like It shouldn't be repressed. We should allow it to be. The, my experience was I, I didn't force myself to not be sad or be sad. I didn't force myself to cry or not cry. I just allowed myself to be very natural with this. And the sadness would come. Uh, Sometimes in the beginning, after you lose somebody, you don't really feel. I mean, you're sad, but you're not really feeling it. For me, it was uh, the last time after I lost my dad. I um, The first week, I mean, the first couple of days, it was very sad. And then when I uh, came to the U.S., uh, I wasn't feeling so much. But then, like a couple of weeks after, it was coming out very strongly. And there were moments that I would just burst into tears and crying. And then there were moments like I was laughing. But I allowed it to happen. And it's my suggestion to anybody who experience this is to be very natural about it and to allow yourself to feel just feel everything you need to feel but I and also in there, there are moments that you may go to this regret like you didn't spend enough time with the person or you may be blaming yourself but I didn't do any of that because I knew I exactly spent whatever time I had to spend with them. There was nothing else I could do. Uh, it was perfectly designed to be that way. Of course, 
a part of you, the mind will come and say, well, I wish I had more time with them or I wish I spent more, I, I uh, gave them more attention or whatever. That is a natural part. I mean, the mind is going to play that game with you anyway. It doesn't matter what. I mean, you could be spending every day with that person and be very attentive to a person who's close to you and it's dying, and still, after they die, your mind will come and tell you, well, you didn't do enough. You should have done more. That's the nature of the mind. And you want to be treating the mind the same way you're treating it in your meditation and the same way in your you're training. You're simply being an observer of it and you watch it because it's going to come and play tricks on you, wants to blame you. You should have done this, you should have done that, you should have been more attentive, um, you didn't do enough, you didn't say what you had to say. All of these things will come. But my suggestion is allow it to come. Simply be aware of it. Watch it. And not go anywhere with it. And when sadness comes, embrace sadness and be sad. Because that's a beautiful emotion. To be sad. To feel sadness. It's natural. Be sad. There's nothing wrong with it. Feel it. When it comes, that sadness comes, it's so strong that there's nothing you can do about it. It takes over. And just dive into it and just be present with it. And do the same thing. Sadness is here. Sadness is visiting. And feel the sadness. Completely. And then the sadness will go away, just like anything else. And then it may come back again. I remember like a month after my dad passed, I'm driving towards Sedona, and all of a sudden, the sadness, strong sadness took over. And I just burst into crying. And it was beautiful. Cried for five minutes or ten minutes. Uh, to a point that I had to pull over. And then it goes away. And then you just continue driving. And of course, like anything else, the feeling is going to come and go. But if you're trained... If you have done the work and you simply remain the observer of your emotions and you're observing your mind, then you don't go into these self-sabotage and self-blame places, blaming yourself. Because that's a trick the mind will play on you. Blaming yourself, feeling guilty. You feel the emotion when it's happening, but you don't go into a story with it. Because that story comes, you feel the emotion, you feel really sad, you feel the grief. But then what happens is after that, the mind will come and start a story that... You weren't good enough. You didn't pay attention to this person, to your loved one. You weren't with them, blah, 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 blah. And then you start blaming yourself. 